it became very dark, as if a dense cloud had blotted out the moon. The clergyman looked up. All around him the natural world was transformed, ordinary things becoming ethereal, a cold mist reeking of bilge water and brackish decay brushed his face. Below him in the landwash, a ship's bell sounded, a sharp clang punctuating the breeze. An eerie light defined the rock in Tokomo. A few feet above the ground, a luminous fog bank appeared, wavering. And then he saw it. He, he couldn't believe his eyes. A fully rigged schooner, the canvas flapping, was floating across the land. Rooted to the spot, the terrified clergyman could only watch as the phantom billowed on the wind, gliding across picket fences, meadows, and the graveyard. He watched for a minute or so before the ship started to go to pieces, dissipating into a clearing of stars above the church steeple.